brand new Elden Ring gameplay. Oh, that's right, baby. We got some gameplay. Look like there's been a network test. I don't know why the great one didn't get an invite to it. You candy ass Brodies need to know your damn role. But with that being said, come on back because we got to check this gameplay out. Highly, Highly. J Rock J -Rock. Hands come back, Hands come back. To, you to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? Oh, that's right, baby. J Rock is here, and we're about to check out some Elden Ring new gameplay that just dropped earlier today. Looks like it's about 19, 20 minutes or so of gameplay, brand new gameplay. All right, let's not waste no time, people. Let's check it out. What is up, everyone? My name is Mitchell Saltzman, and this is Elden Ring. Or the network tests, anyway. Uh, usually when we do these first minutes, we, we like to, to keep them uncommentated, generally to let the gameplay speak for itself, but we had a request from Bandai Namco that we add commentary to our videos. So, here I am. Let's jump into it. Alright, so what I want to do is, I only have a limited t amount of time here, so usually I would jump down there, go through the tutorial, but I know how to play, so we're going to skip it. I'm going to fill you in on, on whatever you would learn down there, and we're just going to try to to get through this opening area as quickly as we can. Um, but the first thing that we need to talk about are Sites of Grace. So these are the bonfire substitutes in Elden Ring. Uh, you can find them all across the world. Usually they'll shoot out a little beam of light that you can follow to to follow the, the, the recommended path, so to speak, to, to get through to the end. Um, but you can pass time. Until morning, afternoon, nightfall, you can distribute your flasks, much like in Dark Souls 3. Uh, I'm going to distribute them, distribute them all into health because this character does not really use magic. Uh, I'm not going to memorize a spell, but that's where you would typically slot in your, your spells. Um, I'm not going to sort chests. Ashes of War. Let's go over Ashes of War really quick. This is, this is probably my favorite new thing in Elden, Elden Ring, but basically they combine the weapon skills and the weapon path upgrades of prior Souls games into a single mechanic. So you can see I have here a Bastard Sword, which starts out with the, the Thunderbolt Ash of War, which means that I have a I have basically a Lightning Sword right now. Um, so yeah, I can actually change it to Lightning Scaling, and it gives the weapon a different skill than what it would normally have. So if I was to unequip this and just do standard and, let's see, un undo enhancement. So if we look at my uh, two-handed skill here, I now have step in, which is a step and uppercut ability. But when I add the lightning art of war, uh, ash of wars, I'm <laughs> sorry, uh, I now have a lightning spell. So basically, you can you can mix and match different arts of wars onto different weapons, and really tailor your your playstyle based on what you find. It's much more mutable, which I think is really really cool about this game. And <laughs> look at that guy doing a little tornado. We'll do the little Metal Gear Solid elevator pose. Oh, okay. I was going to say like, is that in the game? I'm like, no. <laughs> very least the grave hmm. um i really love this this feeling of, of walking out and seeing the open world for the first time it's such like a, a liberating feeling knowing that you can just go anywhere i mean within <laughs> within the bounds of the the network test in in this particular version all right so let's rest here get this checkpoint Talk to this guy. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? No rhyme intended on that line. No shame in it. But I'm afraid you're plumb out of luck. You are maidenless. A bit player. Fully divorced from the strength of rooms. Feel free to go off... And die in a ditch somewhere. 
All right, he has more dialogue, but again, we are we are limited on time, so I'm going to move forward because right in front of me, ooh, I hate this guy. Oh, this guy, this guy sucks. Uh, he is the what the the tree warden or tree guardian tree something. He's basically the, the the equivalent of the first boss in any Souls game or from software game that just, you know, Tree Sentinel, that just messes you up right out of the gate. He's an optional fight. You don't have to fight to fight him. I'm going to try because I'm crazy, and I'll, honestly, I think I have a good strategy for him. So, uh, you'll notice he's got this big old shield, which actually is, is more decorative than you would think. Uh, it's more of a weapon than it is an actual shield because... You can kind of just hit him right through it without worrying about it blocking anything. And he can't... The big danger with this boss is his, are his follow-up attacks. His, his, most of his attacks are really easy to dodge as I get hit. But the problem is that he, he, he randomly follows them up with something else. So if you're on the side where he, he can't reach you with his weapon, then it becomes a much easier fight. So let's just try to keep on to his side here. Keep on to his side so he can't reach me. Also, I feel like your stamina recovers really fast in this game for some reason. I don't have any item that, that recovers stamina really quick. It's just, that's the natural state of it. Damn. Jump attack. Okay, we gotta get out of here. This is a bad spot to be. Okay, now he now he incorporates his, incorporates his shield. Oh, damn it! I'm gonna get one more try. I was real close on that. Ooh, you're gonna die this game a lot. I can tell. Well, I guess that's true of any souls or souls game, if you will. I am not following my own strategy. You just have to be tenacious. And relentless. There we go. Get the big hit. Jump attack. Where's your oh, lightning strike? Okay. Heal up. I'll take a double heal. Just gotta get to the right side. Sorry for the sirens, if you can hear that. Gotta hit him with the lightning and the thunder. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 not like this, not like this. Double heal. Or just single. Run, 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 run. Why don't you get a, your horse so you don't have it yet? I guess you don't have the horse yet. Run, 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 run. Ooh, okay. Out of danger. Ow. Let's back up, back up, back up. <sighs> and you're dead. All right. Strategy works. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Moving Vanquished. on. Alright, I'm going to skip ahead because I only have 30 minutes of gameplay footage to show you be between the first minutes and the preview and this boss video that I really want to show. So I kind of got to gotta skip ahead and highlight the dungeons because honestly, the dungeons of Elden Ring are one of the coolest new things about, about this game. And what's really cool about the dungeons is that they all kind of have their own their own little theme. These are the best way I think to describe these are to call them the like Elden Ring equivalent of oops. Didn't want to do that. Oh god, I am in trouble. Time out, time out. We did not want to do this. This is exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> They're the Elden Ring equivalent of the uh, of the shrines from from Breath of the Wild, every one of them is different. They all have their own little um, in co combat encounter, whereas in Zelda they were all their own little puzzle. These are 
short, they are rewarding, and they're hidden. So you have to act actively seek them out. There are a couple things in the world that can kind of point you in the right direction. So, yeah, I, I love I love the idea of these of these dungeons. Even though they they do kind of reuse a lot of assets, I think it's such a, a cool idea and something to to really keep me going in the open world and and make me explore while keeping an eye out for them. Plus, the best part is they have these boss battles, and these aren't like you know these are nothing like the. Uh, the tree warden or the tree sentinel. I keep calling him the warden. The the tree sentinel. These are these are pretty easy. They're kind of just like stronger regular enemies. But they're all you need. Dragon breath. And they're fun. Some of y'all don't guy, even know what that's ow. from. Dragon breath. I did not rest at the bonfire. I give you a hint. Good. It's from four teenagers. Hopefully, it shouldn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I think he's got a little bit of life left. Oh, no, he doesn't. So we got a medallion for that. Medallions are basically the, the replacement for rings. Raises maximum stamina. And we got... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I need to turn... Is there... I'm asking... I'm, I'm like asking the, the future chat because I'm recording this on a Saturday. Is there a way to turn off motion-controlled uh, emotes? Because I keep on doing them on accident. Alright, so that's the very first dungeon. Now I'm going to make a mad dash over to the next grace because it's an important one. Also, animals! We hmm. usually have, have things that you can loot from them. That was a rebirth monument, which is, which is actually a really important uh, thing that I didn't touch upon yet, but Elden Ring is much more forgiving when it comes to the open world than it is in its its legacy dungeons and dungeon, uh, dungeons in general. Um, those rebirth monuments, basically when you die, you can choose whether you want to respawn at the, the rebirth monument or whatever the last side race that you rested at was. <clears throat> Which is really, really cool because there are a lot of bosses out in the, the open world and generally, right before you hit one, there will be a rebirth, uh, rebirth monument there. So you don't have to make that long-ass trek every time you die to a, to a world boss. Um, usually, you, you just have to walk a couple steps and you're back in the action. So, really, really cool. And I'm going to shut up because there's a cutscene coming up. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. little play on the word I, I guess. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnish. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning room fragments into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the earth tree. Then it's settled. 
Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. All right, and now that we've reached this bonfire and we've uh, made friends with Melina, we can level up. I just realized because we have a, a lightning sword right now, it's probably not very beneficial to bump up stre strength at the moment, but in any case. Um, okay, so before we wrap up, I want to, to briefly talk about stealth and and the kind of freedom of, of your options and how you approach any given scenario in Elden Ring. So you can kind of stealth your way through this camp, the stealth is obviously very, very basic. Uh, you got some, some tall grass or bushes that you can hide in. Um, every time you do something, you have to you have to press the stealth button or the sneak button again in order to get back into uh, sneak mode. Um, but you know it, it it works decently well. I say that as this guy spots me. Mm. Uh, don't worry, they didn't hear that. This is the important guy that we gotta get here. Because if he rings that, or if he sounds that alarm, Ooh. bad things happen. Okay. And why don't we also check out something else? Let's do a good old summon. Oh, hey! What? I Where did he come from? Get him, wolves! Get him! Got him. That guy didn't even notice anything. <laughs> like I said, stealth in this game, not not uh, super advanced. Ow. The best thing about summons is that they they distract. From what I've from what I've experienced so far, there's one particular summon that you can get uh, in this closed beta that I, I, I used him against a, a boss, he knocked him down, and it just became, you know, he, the, the, the boss would get up, I would knock him back down, the boss would get up, he would knock him back down, it was just, it was wonderful. Hmm. Tag team Super on. overpowered in the best kind of way. Uh, nope, don't do that. I would like to heal. So yeah, those are summons, and here's another little hidden dungeon. That's a dungeon. Yeah, I was going to get ready to say. And sometimes that's all that's here. You just get a you just get a little uh, treasure chest. Other times they are absolutely sprawling. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say massive, but fairly large. <laughs> uh, hidden dungeons that you can just stumble upon. And there's our, our map, our map fragment, which unlocks this, a map in a, in a Souls game. Can you believe it? Or not Souls game, a front software game. Souls-like game. These, you can fast travel. Oh, excuse me. And that's where I think we're going to call an end to this video. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, for more Elden Ring, you can check out my full preview of the Closed Network Test, along with a 4K video of me going up against Margaret the Fell, which is basically the, the big boss of the Closed Network Test. So once again, thank you all so much for watching, and for everything else, keep it here on IGN. J-Rock says this, um... Looking forward to this. Looking forward to this game. Looks like it's going to be really, really good. Um, 
Ain't really much else to say about it. You saw it. We saw it. These games tend to be a lot more fun to play than they are to watch. But nonetheless, um, drops in February. I'll be checking it out. Post comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, but J Rock is.